Well, the new thing is um, we're getting ready to uh, rehab a building and uh, open a, another food pantry in our neighborhood. Uh, there's definitely a need um, and making it a little bit different um, than your average food pantry. And Nick can really, you know, he's real excited about that. So let him share on that. Yeah, we've been in Riverside since 97 on Tonawanda Street, and uh, we're blessed with the opportunity to expand our ministry center into a campus by purchasing an adjacent uh, piece of property. We worked with the longtime homeowner and neighbor of ours to, to acquire it, and now that it's uh, in the name of Hearts for the Homeless, we're uh, putting our plans out there for the community to see and uh, in the neighborhood, most importantly. It's going to be a food pantry where people can come in and pick the items that they want to make their meals with. And it's going to have a lot of fresh food options, which is really important to us. Uh, I've always been talking with Ron since I got started with him about this, uh, the importance of a family meal. And we first thought, let's have a family feeding center. And then it developed into kind of seeing where this need was. And it's people need food in their houses and they need to be able to make meals and have an ability to feed their family right at home first. So we're going to have the food pantry in a really a new way that allows people to come in and just have an extreme level of dignity and see that you know people really love them in the neighborhood and the community so they can come in and pick the items that they want to make their meals with fresh ingredients and then we're going to bring in chefs from the area and go over meal prep and show people that it's not hard to make your meals for the week spend an hour or two on a sunday prep your meals for the week your life is going to be a lot simpler by doing it you're going to be able to take care of your kids and not have to worry about oh it's six o'clock and i gotta put dinner on and i'm stressed out about this we want to really walk people through that that process to take the stress level off and it's going to have a coffee shop and it's going to be a real personal atmosphere come in come to the pantry get a cup of coffee get some tea talking about doing frozen yogurt so it's healthy and that's going to be free to the people in the community when the pantry's open so that it builds this this environment that people can be free to open up and share with each other and not have that worry like you know, I really like a cup of coffee like somebody else has, but I can't afford that. You know, we want to take those barriers down because that's where we're going to be able to reach people. And that's where lives are going to be changed is when there's there's no barriers. So. so in the pantry, which will be different than our mobile soup kitchen, we're primarily going to have families and individuals that are in housing, okay, but they're what we call at risk for being homeless. They're a paycheck away from their life being changed forever. They're a grocery bill away, uh, a hot water tank away from just life being way different than it is right now. And it's a struggle right now. So that's why we want to have the pantry so that we can take some of that stress off. The government gives us uh, income guidelines that we'll be able to follow. This is going to be in conjunction with the Food Bank of Western New York. So this pantry is going to really serve the Riverside community in a big way and hopefully add some security to people that are really living on a, on a you know housing insecure basis because they could be one check away one emergency away so we're going to also have financial literacy classes uh, mnt bank is working with us and they're going to come in and have people open up bank accounts and learn how to manage money so that we can just start to really give people the foundations that they need one of those foundations is food and that's always been in our dna since we started in 1990. Now, is it something, um, real quick, so sorry to jump in here, but is it something, uh, is there an application process, or how does somebody um, get enrolled in some this program? So you, you do have to uh, get vetted, essentially. So you'll come with the, the proper amount of identification and uh, paperwork to show your income eligibility for this food pantry. Uh, and we can serve people on an emergency basis and then get them enrolled. So there's tools at our disposal to make sure people leave with food that day. And then the next time, they need to make sure that they're enrolled in, in the, the proper guidelines and paperwork for it. And that's just part of following, uh, you know, the guidelines set by the government and with the food bank so that we can continue to receive the grants. Um, and then some of the stuff we're going to frankly go out and purchase. 
mm. because we need fresh items that might not be available to us on a regular basis right. through food bank and through other local partnerships. Mm. So we're going to go out and purchase it, whether it's from farmers directly, uh, people that are in the middle or just going to, you know, restaurant depot type store and mm. getting the stuff that we need. We're going to purchase it and we're going to fund that through, you know, our overarching program of our clothing recycling.